Hello, so I'm going to do another update video on all this coronavirus stuff um, because it actually seems to be getting a lot worse. Now, I don't want to be doing this in a scaremongering way because a lot of people have said that they've liked that the video so far on it a bit more, you know, what can you buy to protect yourself, what are some sensible steps. But this is just kind of where you start seeing more of a panic in the news media about it. Um, because an interesting thing is if you've been watching several news reports, so I've just been watching loads after loads, you know, on YouTube and seeing kind of how their reporting's been changing on it. Um, is obviously on a lot of channels they've had like doctors in saying stuff like you know originally oh you don't really need to be worried at all you know it will blow over fairly quickly and now they've been saying well you know you know be careful if you're traveling to the area but otherwise it's not much of a problem and then you've got some now saying that you know oh it's spreading worse than flu but you know you shouldn't be maybe worried while well, they look quite worried on the TV and then there's been others saying stuff like oh it's going to have a higher mortality rate than the flu but it's not going to spread as easily as the flu so there's contradictory things there, but all of it isn't looking good. So as of the time I'm doing this video, there's meant to be about 6,000 people infected, um, and that's probably a mass massively underreported number from what we understand, and due to the long incubation period of this particular disease, and or virus. And um, then you've got the thing that there's basically 132 people dead, I think, at this point, although again, this is apparently massively underreported. Because the problem is with China's sort of top-down government system, supposedly what happens is that everybody doesn't want to take responsibility, so lots of the deaths to make the figures look better have been reported as pneumonia, flu, all sorts of other things, not actually, um, you know, coronavirus, even if they know perfectly well it's that. There's videos that have come out of China, I can't say if they're authentic or not, but you know where there's like hospitals and people laying dead in the rooms and doctors who are obviously completely unequipped. It literally does look like that bit out of Chernobyl in the second episode where everybody's going into the hospital, you know, um, with all the red faces and all that, obviously, rather than radiation, it being a viral sort of situation. It does kind of eerily feel like that, just kind of the, you know, denial of um, a government. I know they're doing massive amounts now, you know, trying to build, I think, isn't it two 1,000 bed hospital kind of prefab type things for it? But that does then make you think, um, if they're saying it's not really that bad, why would they need, like, you know, 20,000 beds or whatever it is, 2,000 to 20,000 beds, depending on how many they're actually building. Um, I've seen some really crazy conspiracy theories on it so far, which I don't think hold much weight. Um, but the possibility that it was a viral outbreak from a lab or some sort of bioweapon, I wouldn't completely <laughs> deny. Um, they're not the craziest things, you know, I've seen some really weird things to do with, um, you know, like weird Illuminati ritual stuff, which I'm sure is definitely not the case, but... Um, I'm certainly following out with a lot more kind of almost worried interest. Now, not like, like I said, I'm not really worried, but it's just the point at this point that it's getting to the stage, you know, where um, it seems that, you know, the growth is worse. And I think the main issue, I think, is where they're saying this incubation period, because they were saying that people in Germany have it now, and those people that have it in Germany caught it from a woman that was on a trip from China went to some sort of meeting, then went back to China, she didn't show symptoms until she was on the flight back or back in China, and then the people uh, <clears throat> in Germany started getting it. So the big danger of this obviously is if there's an incubation period of they were saying a couple of days to two weeks, so potentially up to 14 days where you can be spreading it to people and you show no symptoms, and they were saying it could spread within seven feet of other people on public transport through coughing and sneezing and things like that, or just breathing in close to people, that, that's potentially very scary. If it does retain a you know two to three percent mortality rate, assuming that that's um, the real figure and it's not much higher than that, which it very well could be, then yeah, <clears throat> you could be looking at another very serious pandemic. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it, but it does seem lots of people now are saying it is more, much more likely to be a pandemic type scare than a, um, well not actually scare if it's real, but you know, a pandemic um, type thing rather than being a localised issue. So I'll, I'll be constantly trying to do new videos on this because I've got a massive amount of new subscribers, donators and people viewing because of this, so a big thank you to those people. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is in the description below there will be links to a couple of different masks and filters and things like that just for people so they can get them easily. Because um, at the moment it's kind of been a bit annoying with some people where um, they've asked me what they should get, I've given them a big list saying, you know, I'm not in your country, I can't easily see what's available for you at what sort of shipping prices, and then they want me to spoon feed them an exact link to a mask and a filter that will ship to them for a reasonable amount. Sorry, I can't do that, I don't have time to do that. 
Um, I've already recommended lots of masks. I will put a link though to this particular mask. It won't have the filter on it, but this particular mask um, in the description if they're still in stock. Because another issue as well has been um, that lots of masks are selling out now or being massively price gouged because they know people who are now desperate are having to pay a lot more for them. Um, so yeah, I think this is, although I'm not really a prepper as said, I still like to do sensible prepping type stuff. But, you know, there is that. If you never buy this stuff, you know, beforehand, you're going to be screwed if you actually need it in an emergency and then it can't get you due to shipping times or, you know, it's sold out everywhere or the price has been so massively inflated because people know you're desperate and will pay, you know, whatever. So there you go. Um, I will put some links in the description, as I said, to either pages where it shows you a load of different masks or a couple of, you know, direct links to certain masks that should be good. Remember, P100 or P3 filters, those are the ones that um, provide very good particulate protection. Vapor filters on their own aren't any good. If it's combination va vapor filter with a P3, P100 filter, then that's fine. Um, but the point to bear in mind is that you need a very good fine particulate filter to give you the best possible chance if you were somewhere where it was to not get in through the filter. Um, simply wearing a surgical mask, as we've said, is not good enough. Um, so, yeah. I'll be doing updates on this, hopefully I'll get a live stream in tonight, but I do need to go out tonight, so it'll be, you know, regarding other things, if I can get time to do one or not. But, yeah, uh, hopefully everybody stays safe, um, and I'm definitely following this with a lot more interest now, because it seems to be going from not bad to, you know, worse. So, um, let's hope for the best, and still prepare for the worst, hope for the best, and see what happens. But, yeah, at this stage it does seem to be getting a lot more serious.